Hi, this is Eric Skaggs, and the following demonstration is from my SharePoint 2010 development training course. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is for our top link bar, we're going to call the add as last method and just pass in a new node to register that'll point the student to the classes list. And we'll add another node for my registrations that points the students to the my registrations page. So we're just adding two links to the top navigation there. Now moving forward, on lines 41 through 44, all I do is I reference classes, courses, registrations, trainers lists. On lines 45 through 52, so let's see if I can highlight those for you. I'm basically saying take them off the quick launch and make them hidden. Okay, Let's take a look here. The classes list I've set the on quick launch property of false, which will, of course, remove it from the quick launch. But if it's removed from the quick launch, a user, student, visiting the site could still go to the all site content page and see it there, click on it, and, you know, see everything in there, which might be okay. But I want to clean up my navigation as much as possible. So the next thing that I do is set the list's hidden property to true so that it's actually hidden completely from the site from everyone. The only way to get to it is by having a link to it or memorizing the URL. And we do that same thing for the courses list, the registrations list, and last of course but not least the trainers list. And then on lines 53 through 56 here we have to call the update method. When we make a change to an already existing item in SharePoint we have to call update for that change to take effect. So, we'll come back to this in a moment, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the feature deactivating code and what happens when I turn that feature off. So our feature deactivating method has already been uncommented, and we'll paste in the code for that. And you'll see a lot of the same here. We're referencing the current web via the parent property of this feature. We're grabbing the navigation of the web. We're grabbing a collection that represents our quick launch and our top navigation bar. But on line 68 through 75, what we're doing is we're iterating through all of the nodes in the top link bar. And we're finding the register and my registrations nodes that we added when the feature was turned on, and we're going to delete them from the top link bar collection. Now, the same principle applies here that applied with the quick launch bar a few moments ago. If you delete the top link bar node directly, you will get an error. So another way to manage this properly is to use a for loop. And what I'm doing is I'm calculating how many nodes there are. And once I turn this feature on, I would have three minus one. So the integer i will then equal two. i will be greater than zero. We're going to minus minus that. So we'll have two, one those last two links for register and my registrations we want to remove. And then we reference the current top link bar node using that index integer i. And then we have simply an if statement. If the title is registered or the title is my registrations, I want to call the delete method of the collection and pass in that node that I'd like to delete. Moving down on lines 78 through 81 here we're referencing our lists. 82 through 89 we are adding them back onto the quick launch and showing them so that they're no longer hidden. And of course on lines 90 through 93 we're calling the update method to essentially save our changes. So this is half the battle so far. We have some procedural code that will take care of our top link bar and our quick launch bar but now we also need a way for our administrators to access those lists. If I were to deploy this solution right now, in fact, let's just do that. We'll save it. See where we're deploying to. Our URL is correct there. I'm going to drag this down here. And I'm going to right click and deploy the solution. Keep an eye on the output window. Success. So now I can go over to the training site and activate the feature and check this out.
So the first thing I'd like to do is from the Site Actions menu, go into Site Settings, Manage Site Features, and keep your eye on the left navigation, the Quick Launch, and the top link bar. You can see currently I have just the Home tab on the top link bar, and I have the Library section on my Quick Launch, and I have links to my Classes, Courses, Registrations, and Trainers lists. But if I scroll down and I turn on my training navigation feature all of a sudden my navigation is now changed the top link bar says register and when I click on register that takes me to the classes list where I can select the class and then use my ribbon control to register if I click on my registrations it takes me to the visual web part that we created that displays any registrations that I have on the home page you can see all the links to my courses, classes, registrations, and trainers lists have all been removed from the Quick Launch. So normally what I could do is use this All Site Content link to view those. But when I select All Site Content and I scroll down to my lists, I have no lists in here for courses, classes, trainers, or registrations. I can still get to them and I can still access them, but what I have to do now is I have to know that the URL after the site would be lists forward slash classes. Now I can get to my classes list. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.